Hello dudes and not dudes, what is up? So today, this is like the first official model video, I guess you could say. Um, this is the Temio 148 uh, T55 and nothing much today. We're, I'm just gonna finish up the painting and like weathering, I guess you could call it, of the anti-aircraft gun on this. So I painted it black. That is just the Humbrol. 33 matte black thin down all right so first we are going to start with the ammo canister here ammo canister keep in mind i'm checking no real sources for that we're just going to paint that humbrol deep green because who doesn't like some of that just shake that up all right now take some from there Thin it down in a tiny bit of water, wipe the remaining off. And now I'm just gonna layer that on using the thinnest paintbrush. Or not the thinnest, but a thin paintbrush. We apply some that more paint. Alright. Uh also let me know down in the comments what your favorite model kit is. Mine, personally, I've liked this one so far, but the Tamiya Sherman was my first model I made on my own. My dad helped me with the rest. You gotta love dads for that. Um, yeah, that was my favorite. It was cool. Like a nice kit for a beginner and an intermediate, anything. Yeah, other stuff. I did go back once after I finished it, and I put a bit of... Uh, stowage repainted some stuff on there but yeah that was it all right so that is painted there ammo canister is all painted up i think that gives it a nice look with the rest of the weapon of course we're gonna 100 percent have to touch that up later if we hit it all right on to the next color so for the next color to match the body of the tank is what i sprayed in now, it is just one color sprayed. I didn't do, like, the um, highlights and everything. I had some airbrush problems at the time, but I sorted that out. Now, by the way, the airbrush I use is the Badger 105 Patriot. So, to match the rest of that, we're going to use some olive drab. We're going to thin that down and not dry brush it on, but wipe a lot of it down onto a paper towel. So, just hold the end of it here. I am going to take stuff from here just to wipe it down I find that just works out the best so here we go wipe down and begin the painting process now because it's like wiped down and thinned and everything it may take a couple of let's say coats so I was gonna say passes but effectively the same thing a couple of coats to get that down all right, that is down now, almost. On that side, at least, I mean. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, this isn't gonna go to any model shows or anything. I'm just gonna throw it on my shelf in the Museum of Scale Modeling upstairs. Upstairs in the bedroom, all right. Now that is effectively, effectively, effectively finished. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that was really simple. Uh, throw actually. I have no idea what color this top bit is supposed to be. This, like, black bit here above everything else. Don't know what that color is supposed to be. But for our purposes, i say it's black, as I said before. It's not going to go anywhere big. Upstairs in my room. Whatever I want it to look like. Alright, I'm going to paint the handle green again. No research has been done on this. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this is my first 48 scale tank. Not that that has any effect on it. Just thought I'd mention that. Alright. And just like that, I believe the painting of that is finished. So... Set that down here for a second. Close the paint up. Except 62 olive drab is one of my favorite colors. Nicest olive drab, if you ask me. 
Pretty good. My pump's a bit dirty. I had some spillage while you're brushing that. Also, while we let that dry for a second or two, I recently finished this. It is the Tamiya 135th scale Martyr 3M. And I like what I did to that. It was my first time using like thin down paints. I used acrylics because so I don't have any enamels. But thin down paints for dust effects. And I honestly think that came out really nice. Um, no aftermarkets on here. I added that. This is, the storage is from various 135th kits. Um, sandbags are from the Tamiya sandbag set. That is from Tamiya's Allied accessory set. It's not an Allied vehicle, but whatever. It's just a jerry can. No one's going to nitpick at that. Um, what else is there to this? Really not much else to it. I did add the, I guess you call it foliage on the side. That is from Woodland Scenics, uh, like, shrub thing. I don't know what it's called. Here, give me a second to pull that out. I'll show you guys in a second. That is Woodland Scenics. What the heck? Oh, model shrubs, bush, and tree foliage. All right. So, shrub, bush, tree foliage. That is a piece of wood. That is just part of a coffee stirrer. So like that kind of thing my dad got me from his work just brought a bunch of those home one day overall plan i'm going to take this and throw it down on a diorama with like a fence and stuff like that but anyway enough of that i do like it then enough of that back to the tank well not back to the tank back to the tank gun to weather this it's literally going to be probably the easiest thing you can do to weather it now i i'm going to use the temio weathering master I had a bit of trouble saying that now. So, all you're just gonna do, you're gonna take some, and just dust it on. Is it a realistic finish? Beats me, but I do like the look of that. The extra shine, the unnest, the, yeah, English, am I right? Anyway, well, enough of me blabbering on and on and on. Let's just, yeah, that is finished. Now, once we apply this last thing, so I did use this. You can also, just dry, dry brush, dry brush some paint on for all I care. It works just the same. So yeah, there is that. You're gonna pop that on top of the turret, and then there it is. That is the 48-5 anti-aircraft gun that wants to focus. Eh, whatever. So yeah, that is it. Um, I will make another video sometime on the rest of this. But till now, I'll see you next time, dudes and not dudes. Thanks for watching. Peace.